I think we will redo the experiment. We noticed that there were too much sand leaking through the backstop. Even though our results turned out to be reasonably interpretable, this time 
we may put more backstoppers to increase the resistance. We will also want to use a sand box with slit so we can flatten our sandpaper better. It will be good if the sandpaper is exactly the width of the sand box we use, so it is less likely to curve up as we crank. I think we may want to change the sand material to something coarser, like small pebbles. We want to see if internal friction between sediments will have some impact on the fault lines formed. Also, we may want to see how the presence of seamount subduction will affect the fault lines formed. So we will change the basal surfaces to be non-uniform across the sandbox. It will be good if the is exactly the width of the sandbox we use, so it is less likely to curve up. Oh, cannot, cannot, I cannot match now. Like small pebbles. We want to see if it's a good question. I forget it, just redo.